I came to Sheffield Hallam having worked as a forensic toxicologist uh, mainly in New Zealand for about six or seven years before coming to Sheffield Hallam and uh, during that job I was using analytical chemistry to uh, solve cases in uh, uh, police work. I, before that I did an undergraduate degree in chemistry and then a master's degree in forensic science and then I worked in the London World Anti-Doping Agency laboratory where I completed a PhD where I was analysing steroids. Well, I love teaching at a master's level because students come in either with the, the background knowledge already or uh, they pick it up really quickly at a master's level. So we can go on to some really interesting advanced concepts and high level uh, knowledge that they'll be able to study. And then we can have really good discussions around that. So they pick it up really quickly. We get to introduce um, what we're doing, working at as research. We get to introduce uh, things straight out of the literature um, so they get a really good experience. Um, I really enjoy working with them at that kind of higher level, um, and much more discussion going on. Masters level analytical chemists are very employable in laboratories from forensic laboratories through to the pharmaceutical industry and uh, lots in between. We have very good teaching laboratories for students to come in and, and get real hands-on experience. The Biosciences and Chemistries teaching laboratories are very up-to-date with industry standard equipment. Um, the analytical equipment is all up-to-date. So they come in and as well as the theoretical background we give them in lectures or they know from prior studies, they then come in, use hands-on experience and that reinforces that. And they go out and are able to operate instruments when they go into work. All of the tutors on this course are research active. Whilst doing research, we bring that back into the classroom. We tell them our latest discoveries, our latest developments, tell them, explain to them and discuss with them the latest papers that we've published or our colleagues have published in that area. So that all feeds into the, the teaching throughout the master's programme. 